I'm thrilled to be here with all of you and appreciate the fact that you've chosen to spend your morning with the best and the brightest in the floral world and the, uh, the wholesale business. If I haven't met you before, um, my name is Marla O'Dell and my day job as Vice President of Sales and Marketing for CSS Industries or as you know them, Berwick Offre and Hampshire Paper. However, I also serve as your 2018 WOFSA president. I've been honored to lead this exceptional group this past year. We've accomplished a lot during these last 12 months for the benefit of the association and the industry at large. I plan to share with you some of WOFSA's triumphs, but before I get to the specifics, I want to take a moment and thank all the incredible sponsors for this year's conference including those from last night's outstanding Flowers from Around the World party. I heard it was awesome. Um, without each of these exceptional companies, we would not be able to have such a fabulous program. So the sponsors are on the screens here, and uh, thank you, sponsors. So you know, timing is everything. Who hasn't heard that phrase, or for that matter, experienced it in their lifetime? I'll give you a good example. When I was about four or five years old, I wore my hair in a relatively short, high ponytail, kind of flowed over, fanned over in the top of my head. My mother called it my water spout. So one day, we were driving somewhere, and it must have been summertime because I recall it being extremely hot, um, and I was very humid, and I was very thirsty. So I lamented, or I probably whined to my mother that I would sure like to get water from my spout. My mother pulled into a gas station to get a 7-Up from the pop machine, that's what we say in the Midwest, which didn't sound thirst quenching to me at all. I commented, I just want water. Why don't they sell water from the pop machine? My mom's reply was, don't be silly. No one would pay for water. <laughs> so that would have been the 1970s, early 1970s. And at that time, about 350 million gallons of bottled water were consumed in the US, about 1.5 gallons per person. Today in America, we consume 10 billion gallons of water, um, 30 gallons per person per year. So my point is that if as that five-year-old, I would have just acted on that idea, well, I probably wouldn't be standing here today. But in reality, even if I or my family had had the wherewithal to act on that idea, the timing wouldn't have been right. The timing is everything mantra rings true for WUFSA as well. When I took the stage last year as your incoming 2018 WFSA president, I said we plan to focus on two main objectives. One, increase wholesale membership through our value proposition, and two, have another successful floral distribution conference, which is part of that value proposition. After the conference last year, as with every year, we conducted a survey of the attendees. By and large, most attendees were really pleased with the conference results. But we did recognize some commonalities pointing to some needs for improvement. We heard we need better to buyer, buyer to supplier ratio, more wholesalers, and more new wholesalers. We'd like a more diverse representation of exhibitors. And exhibitors were saying it's not fair um, to pay in exhibitors to allow non-exhibitors on the show floor. And the fourth point was that we'd like some fresh educational content that's relevant and specific to the floral industry. So like I said, timing is everything. We listened to our membership and decided to make some really bold changes this year to address improvements. For the first time ever, we offered a buy one, get one free or BOGO discount to wholesalers that booked early. The thought was this would allow wholesale membership to expose more of their employees to WUFSA and also allow the WUFSA staff to get an early read on attendance and use that as a marketing tool to exhibitors. In addition, for wholesalers that had not attended since 2011, we implemented a We Want You Back campaign and offered free attendance. I'm delighted to report that these tactics were a success. In 2018, we have 69 wholesale companies in attendance, bringing 200 wholesalers with them. This is a really impressive number for WUFSA. It's almost a 20% increase over last year.
and something we continue, can continue to improve upon. Additionally, we have more than 10 new wholesalers here, um, that's companies, that have joined us this year who didn't attend in 2017. So bringing a diverse company mix to this year's show. We also implemented a stipulation this year that allows only exhibitors and wholesalers in the tabletops. This was done to provide more value for our paying exhibitors, but also really more focused time for our wholesalers to visit with those exhibitors. Additionally, there was a concerted effort to di diversify our exhibitors. So I'd like to thank Rob Shibata for his tireless devotion to making this happen. Rob spent a lot of time calling and meeting with potential exhibitors along with other um, conference initiatives that he put his time in. So thanks, Rob. <clears throat> this year we have 19 new exhibitors. About 19% of our show floor are new exhibitors. And they're represented in the tabletop. So it's a, a potted plant grower, a cut greens exhibitor, and many other new faces. Additionally, 14 exhibiting companies from last year have now become members of WFSA, further strengthening the association and the value of FDC. Lastly, I'm probably most excited about the content we have lined up with this year's event. <clears throat> the content at FDC is coming on the heels of a super successful management institute we had this past summer in California. Industry veterans who've been around the block a time or two in attendance at Management Institute stated it was the best education they have ever received in or outside the floral industry. That's really high praise to follow, but I'm convinced we've done it at this year's WFSA FDC. At the Trends in Global Flower Production Luncheon today, you're going to hear from floral industry experts from around the world. No U.S. Floral Association has ever assembled an international group of speakers like we have this year. This is an industry first. Jim Daly will be discussing North America, Joaquin de la Torre, South America, Stephen Van Schilfgaard will address Europe, and Dr. Heidi Werner will discuss Asia, and Neil Hellings will cover Africa. We know the flower growing industry and transportation environment is evolving. And this session will provide insight from every corner of the world. I would also like to mention that these industry experts will be available this evening to answer any additional questions in the Emerging Leaders Hospitality Suite at, starting at 5 p.m. So there's yet another opportunity to learn from them. Our trends program tomorrow is taking on a new spin this year as well. Derek Woodruff will pre be presenting trends uh, specific to the floral industry. Many of you already know Derek and have seen him present, and I'm sure you can endorse my enthusiasm to see his trends presentation tomorrow morning at the breakfast session. So beyond FDC, the board, committees, and staff looked at other ways we could increase the value proposition. A few changes this past year include the newsletter with valuable industry information is now available to members only, the operating ratio report and benchmark study also available to members only, we amped up the level and quality of educational content and road trip stops at Management Institute. We added partnership opportunities, including America's Mart in Atlanta and Dallas Market Center for wholesale members, specifically those on the supply side. And we laid the groundwork for an onboarding training session, or onboarding training, which members can use to train their own staff and use as an onboarding tool. And that'll be launched in early 2019. Finally, I'd like to call attention to our strong financials. This was a goal um, for 2018 as well. This year, WFSA achieved the, our reserves goal. With those reserves now in hand, we are much more comfortable investing even more money back into programs for our membership. Sponsorships overall this year are more than $50,000 for FDC alone, and supporters of President's Club continue, generating additional dollars for the association. This financial support is vitally important for the health of our association long term, so we can bring quality programs and services to you, the members of the association. 
It is true, being president of WUSA, you have a lot of hours piled onto your day job. However, I'd like to say that the volunteers we have in the committees and on the board, along with the WUFSA staff and past presidents, made it possible and manageable for me. Everyone, members, volunteers, and staff, recognize the importance of having a strong association. I often use the phrase, a rising tide lifts all ships. This couldn't be more true for WUFSA. Together, our ongoing efforts and, and support of all of you, we will continue to make each other and the floral industry a stronger and more sustainable industry. Thank you. Now before we open the tabletops in, in a little while, um, we have a few items of official business. Santiago? Santiago, um, our past president is going to give you the nominating committee report. Santiago led this year's nominating process and has been an instrumental player on WUFSA's board, including serving uh, as last year's president, as many of you know. Um, Santiago, I have truly enjoyed working with you and thank you for everything that you have done. So before you deliver your report though, I'd like to present you with a bowl. A silver bowl is a token of our appreciation. And Santiago and I have worked closely together this, these last past few years, and I know you've had WUFSA interests at your heart, and I've always wanted to move the association forward with the compass in the strategic direction. So. Keep that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Trade you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, Marla. Thank you to our board. And thank you to all our WUFSA members uh, for allowing me to be part of the, of the leadership uh, team of this great association. This has been a wonderful experience for me. And I'm also pleased to have been part of, a, of all this transformation that WUFSA has been going through. Uh, now I'd like to present to this year's nominating committee report. The committee is honored to submit the following names for election to OSA's 2018-2019 Board of Directors. So as first Vice President, Tim Dewey from DB Flora. Is Tim in the room? Can you stand up, Tim, please? Thank you. Very well. For a three-year term on the board, we have Alex Perez from Comet Sales. Alex, are you on, in the room? Okay, from uh, Royal Flowers, Rex Thompson. <laughs> I think Alex had a, a bit too much cigars with, too many cigars with, with Rob last night. <laughs> <laughs> and from Wa Washington Floral Service, we have Mark Berglund. <laughs> Is Mark around? <laughs> this concludes my report, Madam President. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Santiago. Is there a motion to accept the, the slate as presented? Thank you. Second? Got that. Any other nominations from the floor? Okay. There being none, I call for the vote on the proposed slate of board members. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed say nay. Motion passes. In addition to Santiago, I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize the contribution of two other outstanding board members whose term on the board also expires this year. These gentlemen have made exceptional contributions to WUFSA and we so appreciate their support and involvement. Mr. Mauricio Jaramillo and Mr. Lenny Walker, would you please come to the stage? 
if you're here. <laughs> Take your time, guys. We can. <laughs> On behalf of WUSA's Board of Directors, I would like to present both of you with this recognition for your service. Thank you for your contribution and for being such an integral part of WUFSA. Thank you guys. Now it is a time honored tradition for the passing of the gavel. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce WUFSA's 2019 president, Mr. Ben Powell, with Mayesh Wholesale Florist. Ben and I have been working closely together with the rest of the executive committee during this past year as we continue to advance the mission of WUFSA and make this association stronger. Ben, I am thrilled to be handing the reins over to you, as I know you will continue to advance WUFSA as an association that benefits the wholesale floral industry. And I look forward to the year ahead. Now please join me in welcoming Ben. We're supposed to take a picture. Are you? We're supposed to take a picture. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Marla, thank you very much for that welcome, and thank you for your partnership over the past year. You've been an outstanding leader of our association, and I've thoroughly enjoyed working with you and learning from you as your first vice president. You've set the bar high, you've embraced important changes for WUFSA, and for this conference as well, and you've always had your eye on the future. Tomorrow I begin my term as WUFSA president, but I look forward to your continued partnership and wise counsel as immediate past president and member of the WUFSA Executive Committee. So on behalf of the entire board and staff of WUFSA and all of our volunteers and our members, I want to thank you for your dedication, your hard work, and your service to the industry and this association. You've done an absolutely fantastic job, and it's my honor to present you with a token of our appreciation. So please give, give Marla a big hand. Thank you. 